Good girl, good girl, good girl. Well done. We work with um, animal rescue organizations from all over South Africa. Um, and whenever there's a, a horse that needs a home or a horse that might even be termed a difficult horse uh, with behavioral problems, they send those horses to us. And what we do then is we incorporate them into this herd. We give them a place in a loving community and we allow them to be a horse. Uh, the lockdown has been quite hectic because uh, the way that we generate an income is we have a horse-drawn vintage carriage that operates between two um, wine farms here at the foot of the Tsitsikama Mountains. Um, these horses are actually the ones who, who, who pull that carriage for our guests. And then we also do horse trails to wine farms, animal sanctuaries like Monkey Land, Birds of Eden. And uh, oh, he wants to really come and have a look. <laughs> um, so we rely on national and international tourism for funding, for income. And um, we've got no sponsorship or anything like that. We generate all the money that we need to look after our horses. And that on the 27th of March just stopped. Not one cent is coming to this business at all. So it's been very, very, very hard. Two of our staff members have offered to work here with no pay, not getting any income whatsoever. Um, and we provide food and accommodation for them and the three of us are basically looking after these 40 horses so it's been quite a thing we do everything from looking after the horses trimming the horses feet to we've now started other initiatives to try and bring some income into the business I'll go and show you just now but we cut um, non-indigenous invasive wattle trees and we turn that into firewood which we which we're selling we pick up the horse manure and we turn it into compost which we sell we planted vegetable gardens um, which about in a month or six weeks time hopefully we'll be generating enough vegetables to feed us but also that we could sell to generate some more income we've got some chickens so we've got some organic eggs that we're selling yeah and we're thinking we're constantly thinking what else we can do to generate an income to to make sure that we survive we are very happy to be here on the farm, but for now we have got on the bad, bad situation because of this coronavirus uh, that is taking over all over the country, uh, all over the world. But we are still here uh, looking for the farm and taking care for the animals, and we don't have any income that is coming in. But we are still here that we're gonna still wait, waiting for that maybe the business gonna open again. But we started, but we. He still survived because Debbie is taking care for us and looking for everything here as a farm. But we are very happy looking for the animals and also all the animals, they are very happy on the farm. And to be here, we are so happy on that on this uh, program of lockdown, everyone is um, asked to, to, to stay at home. And on this difficult time, uh, we're not get, uh, getting anything that we can have in our pockets because there's no business coming in. But we're still surviving because our boss is taking care of us and we doing still taking care of our horses here and there to see on how we can manage until the business open again. But at the moment, we are taking care of our farm animals and also doing garden to make ourselves better so that we can have something to eat in our day lives. Thank you.